fellowship. Praise God. Praise God. Good to see everybody on this wonderful Thursday. On this wonderful Give It to the Lord Thursday. Remember, we call Thursday Give It to the Lord Thursday. That's why we spend more time. We spend more time on Thursday soaking because it's Give It to the Lord Thursday. If you didn't give it to the Lord on any other day of the week, focus on making sure when Thursday comes, whatever you didn't give to the Lord yesterday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, when you get to Thursday, make sure you give everything, everything, <laughs> everything to the Lord, because we cannot, we cannot survive without Him. We cannot live in this world alone. We have to open our hearts, give Him every fear, give Him every, every worry, give Him every challenge, every pain, every infirmity, every attack, give everything to Him, good and bad the struggles and the joys, just let God have your life. Let him have your entire life. Just let go. We always say, let go, let God. No, let go and let God have your life. That's really what that phrase means. Some people just make it a catchphrase. Some people just say, well, let go, let God. What? It's not just a saying. No, let go and let God run your life. Let go and let God have your life. Let go and let God have your family, your kids, your marriage, your job, your health. Let him have everything. Hey, Todd, when we say let go, let God, we want him to have every part of our life. So when we say living by the word, we're living everything by the word. Amen. So I want to make sure we understand when we say let go, let God, what that really, what that really means. Amen. Amen. I'm getting the glare. Let me let me change the angle a bit. I'm getting the glare on my screen. Today's lesson really is a short lesson because it's really not a lesson today. I started something on. Uh, let me back up a little bit. Oh, change this angle. There, I can see it now. I can see it. I'm gonna change the angle. Remember on Tuesday, Tuesday was a, a kingdom business. On Tuesday we had a kingdom business, and I was just talking about dealing with the world, but the main purpose. Of, of, of this is kingdom business part two. This is really kingdom business part two, but don't say part two, John. Just say what, what I put on the screen kingdom business, challenges, and what? Challenges in the word. Amen. So, what we're doing, what we're doing right now is when we stay, we're talking about the word of God, we're talking about what you do. Now, this, this is like the lesson today, really, challenges and solutions. I want to hear what you guys do. Now, I'm going to read what you put on the screen. What I want you to do, listen closely, listen closely. I, I don't make it long, but what I need you to post is what what challenges have you faced and what part of the word of God helps you deliver helps you make it through? What challenges have you faced and what part of the word of God do you use to survive? What word of God is your solution to that challenge? I want you to put your challenges on the screen because when others come to watch the archives, when others come to watch the archives, they'll see all the different ways you apply the word in your life. So I give you all the lessons. I give you all the lessons and how to how to hold your peace, what we the, the verses, but I want to hear what you guys do. So as you post, as you post, I'm gonna read what challenges have you faced and what do you do? Do you pray? Uh, scriptures you have a favorite scripture do you stand still i just need i, I want to give everybody a chance so I, I i gotta read them too so don't make the post like donna said don't make the post long just tell me the challenge and what you do as a solution to that challenge for example my i give my example my example is the the, the devil's always trying to make me think that that i missed something He's always trying to make me think I've missed something in the teachings. So I gotta say, so I just say, I trust you, Lord. I trust you. I'm teaching what you want me to teach. So I'm just gonna trust you, Lord. Speak to me, Lord. So every day, I, every day I come to you guys, and I'm waiting for the Holy Spirit. The devil tries to say, "Well, you did it. Did the Holy Spirit really say that? Get thee behind me, Satan." So I trust him with all my heart and lean not to my own understanding. In all my ways, I acknowledge him so he will direct my path. That's that I do that daily because when I come to you guys with a lesson, the devil's always trying to tell me that, well, what lesson are you going to do today? He tries to be sarcastic in my ear and I have to hold my peace and say, I hear you, Holy Spirit. Hold my peace. It can be a combination. 
I have no fear. Stand still in the presence of the Lord. Hold your peace. Because we are in this world all the time. Deanna, I keep hearing knocking when trying to truly rest. I get interrupted when I'm trying to pray. A phone call, a knock on the door, text messages. Amen, Deanna. And see, when you know that, Deanna, what you do is put when you when it, if it if it always seems to happen, put your phone on silent, especially text messages and the phone. Put the phone on silent, and you just have to learn to. If the door knock, you just said, oh, hopefully it's not somebody just trying to knock on your door and 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 uh, make you make you just feel like it's crazy, you know, going on. Amen. So just hold your peace. Amen, Dana. Uh, David, hey, welcome, David. Uh. You have COVID not completely attacking you now. Now, David. Now, now, David. This is where you really just soak in the presence, in the presence, of the Lord, and listen. God, listen to God's healing our power every day, David. Listen to God's healing our power every day, because during the during the the quarantine for yourself, focus on your healing. Focus on praying for the Lord. For some reason, they only talk about death and <coughs> excuse me on on the news. They only talk about death and people getting sick. They never give you the numbers of how many people are recovering. People are recovering. And the news only did it for one week in California. They only attached the statistics of one week of telling how many people are surviving. And all of a sudden it disappeared. And all you see is death and people hospitalized and people getting sick. And they took away how many people are healing. People don't, not everybody's dying. So first of all, uh, David, anybody else who's who's gotten a positive result, not everybody's dying. Many people are being healed. Many people are are, are surviving the COVID-19. So first of all, get the devil's lie out of our head because all the news shows is death, sickness, and infections, and they don't report the great number of people who are who are surviving. So that's why we want to make sure we focus on that part as well. Amen. Uh, uh, Brother Carl, uh, your co-workers, pray and ask God that he will uh, have you do what you do. Amen, uh, Carl. Amen. Pray and ask God how to deal with your co-workers. Whoa, my God. Hey, hey Carl. Whoa, Carl. I, I remember those days. Whoa, help me, Lord, know how to deal with my, my co-workers. And that's a prayer you have to say every day. For those of you who work, who work with crazy people, you got to say that prayer every day. Amen, Carl. Pray and ask God, how do I respond to these crazy co-workers who are trying to steal my joy. Amen, Carl. Amen, Carl. Deanne, frustrations, and you, you use Isaiah 42, it's 43, verse 2. Isaiah 43, verse 2. It encourages you to make it through frustrations. Amen, Deanne. Praise God. Thank you, sister. Sister Deanne, amen. And yes, David, David, and play all, David, I, you know, David, play my prayer, six, uh, the six-hour prayer. Play that six hour prayer because you want to you want to infiltrate your body and your mind and spirit with the word of God during healing. So play that six out of six hour video every day and let it soak as you pray for healing every day. You got to do that. Amen. 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 <laughs> See what what is it? What do you mean, uh, Carl? I, I didn't get that. It doesn't. What, what doesn't sell, but uh, but the Carl. Oh no, uh, I'm not sure what you mean, but the Carl. I mean Glenda. Uh, there's. They're, amen. They're showing death in the hospital viruses because they see, see, and the thing, the main thing about the, the main thing about the vaccine is 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 something that we have to still be judgmental. You have to make sure if you don't have any symptoms, don't rush to do it because the people who need it are the people who are sick, the people who are infected and feeling symptoms. Those ones who are supposed to be the first. So don't just run out. Just don't run out. And get the vaccine, and you don't feel sick. Now, of course, it's, it's some people think it's will be mandatory at some point, but right now it's not mandatory. And if you're not feeling sick and you're doing what you're supposed to do, you have to worry about that part. Amen. Uh, Justine, uh, COVID. Uh, thank you, Justine. I remember that uh, Justine is a COVID survivor. You, your brother, your niece, and your neighbor. You're 59 years old. Praise God, Justine. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for sharing that. Because Brother David and those who are dealing with it need to hear testimonies. My friend, my friend's wife, uh, uh, Pastor Tony, his wife caught COVID back in March when first the, the shutdown first started. 
she was on ventilator. She was on ventilator for for eleven weeks the first time, and as she was recovering, she got pneumonia. Went back in the hospital, and was on the ventilator again for longer than she was for COVID. A a a a a a, a, uh, to, uh, a clot passed through her lungs and her heart, and even the doctor said, "Man, that's God." The doctor said, "Wow." That's God, because she shouldn't be alive right now. The the uh, uh, a clot passed through her lungs and her heart while on the ventilator, and she lived. And even the doctor said, "That's God." See, God is moving, y'all. God is still in the healing business. Amen. Uh, uh let's see. Uh, where I leave off. Okay. Uh, Liz, Liz, a friend's mother who has dementia and in poor health, got COVID and thought she was not going to survive, but she did survive. Right, Liz. Amen. See? Amen. You do everything. Amen, David. Praise God, David. Keep soaking. Keep soaking, David. Uh, Snurks, I hear clapping when I sleep sometimes, but I start to say, not today, Satan. Amen. Amen. Snurks. Snurks, that is using your authority. You hear clapping? Not today, Satan. In the name of Jesus, I bind you, I rebuke you, and cast you out, and it stopped. Amen, Snurks. That is the way you use your authority. When there's something interfering with you while you're trying to pray or seek God and the devil's trying to distract you, rebuke it, bind it, cast it out. And like Snurks said, it stopped. Amen. Amen. Brother Todd, as soon as you wake up, as soon as you say what, are you, uh, Brother Todd, uh, are you say what, Brother Todd, as soon as you wake up, amen. She did survive, it is, amen. Brother, brother, uh, uh Brother Carl, also recovery from COVID. Amen. Praise God. Amen, Justine. See, God is still, God is still in the healing business. Nedra, sweet knees. And we know that all things work together for good. For those who love the Lord, according to his purpose, Romans 8, 28. Amen, Snurk. I mean, uh, uh, Nedra. And we know that all things, good and bad, all things, good and bad, work together for good for those who, who love the Lord and to those who are calling a called according to his purpose. Amen. That helps you make it through. Thank you, uh, Sir, uh, uh, uh Deanne. <laughs> I, I try to keep up with everybody. Thank you, Nedra. Sweet knees. Thank you. Thank you. 82 years old, Liz. She was 82. Praise God. Woo, thank you. I'm talking. See, God is see, God is healing, y'all. The news doesn't say it. God is still healing. That's why I want to take this time to share with each other on this day to let people know. Uh Justine. My dad, 81, uh, South Carolina, had COVID pneumonia, hospital 14 days, and he's out. In your face, devil, he is out. You had a temper, slow down. <laughs> Amen, Justine, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. She survived. Amen, Liz, praise God. Amen, Todd. What you say every day is this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. You're blessing your day, Todd. Every time you do that, every day you start your day out with a scripture, you are blessing your entire day when you wake up saying the word. You wake up saying the word of God. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Erica, I say Psalm 23, the 23rd Psalm. The, oh, the whole thing, Erica, the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Amen. That's a very, that is a very peaceful uh, passage. Psalm, the, the 23rd Psalm, I recommend to everybody to make 23rd Psalm and Psalm 91 your daily reading. Psalm 91 and Psalm 23 make those your daily reading for peace of mind and no fear in this world. Amen. Uh, Snurks, you thank God for all those who are, who are, uh, for those who have survived COVID-19. Amen. Amen. Uh, see what God is doing anything. See, thank God is doing a new thing. Amen. Uh, but David, I love God's healing our power and Bastion's presence. You, I put you at ease. Amen, brother David. Thank you, brother David. I'm so glad that's working for you. And stay and keep keep yourself immersed. And brother David, the six hour video includes both those prayers, and it includes it includes all my one hour prayers. The six hour video has all the one hour prayers because it lasts for six hours. And you can play it all night, and the peace of God is over you all night. And even during the daytime, if you're stressing out, play play it anytime, but especially all night. Amen. Uh, uh, Justine, why they give them the, the community vaccine first? Well, see, it, it, uh, Justine, 
we can't we can't begin to, <laughs> we can't begin to understand why the different governments are different thing. So we just we just pray, we just pray for we just pray. That's why we pray every day. That's why we're fasting and praying for everything. I say in the world. When I say in the world, we're praying for our nation here, and we're praying for the world because we never know what the different governments are doing. So we can't even we can't even control that part. Amen. Uh, so welcome, Sister Clavain. Welcome, Sister. Fear is your biggest problem. The devil's always trying to use your weaknesses against you. But you know, <laughs> he's a Yahashua is in charge of your life. Amen. Uh, amen. See, that's that's given to him. You give it to him every time. Clavain, you're doing the right thing. And it works every time. We know he's in control of your life. Amen. That's right. Give it to him and let it go. And let it go and, and know he's got you. He's got your back every step of the way. Deborah said, Lord, your, your son had COVID in prison. And he said he prayed his way through because they had no treatments. Amen. And he, and he uh, uh, Deborah, is he, he survived it? Is he healed already? He's already healed, Deborah. He prayed his way through in prison with COVID. And he, they had no treatment. Praise God. God is moving, y'all. God is moving. Uh, the pray, amen, Justine. We all pray. We all, we, we all pray for the vaccines to do no harm. Amen. Amen. Because whenever a new vaccine comes out in a hurry, hear me clearly. Whenever a new vaccine comes out in a hurry, they sometimes don't test properly. There are side effects sometimes. There are all kinds of things sometimes. When you when you release a vaccine in a hurry, have you have you really checked everything? So that's why that's why we pray that whatever vaccine comes out, we do pray. For the safety of the vaccines. Amen, Justine. Oh, uh, Erica, the whole thing. Amen, Erica. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, Todd, your 82-year-old father-in-law had pneumonia. Uh, then he had babiosis, a, a tick bite. They caught COVID from the nursing home. And he's healed from all that. He's healed. He's healed from pneumonia, babiosis, and COVID. He's healed from all three. God is in the healing business. God is still in the healing business. Amen. Amen, Deborah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus, for these testimonies. Amen. Amen. John, John Psalm 91 and Jeremiah 10, 11. He knows the plans. He knows the plans he has for each one of us. Amen, John. Not Psalm 91 and Jeremiah 29, 10, 11. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, Erica, you and your daughter say it together. Uh, oh, you all say, uh, you and your daughter say the whole thing. Amen. Uh, Psalm 23. Amen. Praise God, Erica. It's good to have you. It's good to have your kids say it with you because you're teaching them. When you say the word of God with your kids, it is teaching them to reach out to that scripture when they need help without you. They go to college, they go to school, they go to be on their own, and they remember you taking the time to say this 23rd Psalm with them every day. Whatever scripture, share the word of God with your kids so they understand how to go to the word of God when they need it. Amen. Uh, Glenda, I listen, you listen to six hour, you listen to the six-hour video while you sleep and and wake up feeling refreshed in body and soul. Praise God. And play, praise God, says Glenda. That's exactly what's about. That's exactly what it is for you go to bed and the word of god is playing all night and you you're receiving it the word of god all night and you wake up refreshed because the word of god has been over you all night amen uh sister glenda amen amen uh just uh justine fasting and praying too amen amen oh i got you i got you justine i know the other justine is uh oh i got we got, we got, we got i forgot we got uh, Justine Patakian as well. Uh, uh, Justine McFadden is the one that's telling us a testimony. Welcome, Justine Patakian. Amen. I forgot we got just two, two Justines. Amen. So Justine, Justine in Spring Valley is the one who's been sharing about the COVID survival. Amen. And Justine Patakian is fasting. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Who else we got? Who else got? Your son is healed, Deborah. Amen. Amen. Justine in Canada. I got you. Patakian. Thank you, Justine. Says Justine in Patakian in Canada. Amen. Praise God. These are great. See, I'm see, I'm glad we took the time 
to share. This is what this day is for. Give everything to, everything to the Lord and share your testimonies about how you're dealing with stuff going on right now. The COVID-19 especially, because right in California, they're about to put us back on full lock, lockdown again because in California, it's out of control. So just keep keep John and myself in prayer. So we, we, we're doing everything we should be doing. We're staying safe. We're wearing a mask. We're not going to public events. So John and myself, we're doing the best we can to do what you're supposed to do. Because in California, there's a lot of rebellion. A lot of people are not doing what they're supposed to do. And that's why California right now is completely out of control. A lot of places are out of control because of that. Amen. Amen. Hey, woman of God. Welcome. Welcome, woman of God. Amen. So we thank you for your we thank you for your prayers over us every day to be safe in this crazy <laughs> crazy state right now who's walking in rebellion in so many ways. Amen. God is good. God is good. Uh, Dunsky, welcome, sister. Uh, I've been knowing since childhood. Thanks to your mom. She's a woman, woman of God, 55 years old, and saved 82 years old. Amen. Praise God. And see, that's how, and that's how we learn, Dunsky. My mother talked to the Lord like he, he was a best friend. My, I, I was raised by a single mother. And my mom, she would just talk to God like he's sitting at the dinner table. And it taught me you could talk to the Lord anywhere, not just on your knees. Whenever you need to talk to God, just start talking. He's right here with us. And so, amen, Dusky, that's the way God, uh, we as parents can affect our kids to let them understand what it is, uh, what relationship with the Lord is all about. When they hear you talk to the Lord, you're teaching them. They can talk to the Lord just like anybody else. And he hears you and gives you peace of mind. That's, that's teaching by behavior. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, Dusky, New, New York City is out of control too. You shake your head. Yep. What? They're opening schools next week. What? <laughs> oh my God. Amen, Dusky. Look out for your kids. Watch out for your kids. Amen. See, we aren't in control of the government, but we are in control of our family. Let me say it again. We are not in control of the government, but we are in control of our family. So we have to watch out for us. And number one, right now, we have to watch out for our family. Uh, uh, Liz, Argentina, the fourth country in the world. Most countries, and right now, you're number four, and the United States is number one. The United States is number one in the world. The most cases is in the United States because of the spirit of rebellion, denial, rebellion, and denial is out of control right now. Amen. Amen. Don, there too. Amen. God, <laughs> amen, Liz. Thank God for who He is. Praise God. When parents are right with the uh, Lord, our kids will be right. Anyway, see, your kids learn from you. R remember the saying, don't do as I do, do as I say. And in the old days, some parents would say, do one thing, and the parent did the complete opposite. No, we must be examples to show our kids how to love the Lord. Show your kids. Let the kids see you praising. Let your kids see you praising and worshiping and praying. You're teaching your kids how to love the Lord in any way, all the ways, amen. Uh, and the most this, amen, uh, amen, Don. Uh huh. A, a, a snurks, we are so spoiled as Americans. God is taking care of that right now. He's taking care of the spoil because no longer is being spoiled going to work. We used to be spoiled because all the other countries were going through something, but right now we are going through everything the racism. The, uh, the violence, the, the, the pandemic, everybody's going through the pandemic. The pandemic's worldwide. But we as America are getting a wake up call right now because we're going through some things the other parts of the world have been going through for decades, for almost centuries. Amen. Amen. A amen. Woman of God, the pride, what pride goes with what? Pride goes before fall, a haughty spirit before what? Destruction. So that's why we, that's why we pray for this country every day. That's why we as a fellowship are praying and fasting until further notice to pray for this nation, especially to make it through this mighty storm we're going through right now. Amen. Amen, Justine P. Uh, uh, Justine Canada. My children are taught by the Lord and great is the peace of them. Amen. Great is the peace of them. Amen. Amen, Justine P. Amen. We had, we had a chance to learn 
a snurks. We had a chance to learn, but we didn't. But now you do a snurks. Guess what? Now you know. Because now old things have passed away. And guess what? Now you have learned. And now you're on fire for the Lord. Amen, sister. That's what it's all about. The spirit. <laughs> the end. The spirit of stupidity. <laughs> Hey, I I never called it that I I never called that dead, but that's a good one. The the spirit of rebellion is partly the spirit of stupidity to out there go out there and just test God, just test God every day and think think nothing's gonna happen to you. Amen, uh, amen, uh, dead woman of God, American Ameri uh woman of God. Americans have to realize money and technology won't solve everything. Amen, woman of God. Money and technology won't solve. Everything, praise God, and that's why we that's why we pray. That is exactly why we pray, woman of God. Amen. 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 Erica, I'm in control of my household for safety and protection with this COVID-19. Psalm 4610. Be still and know that I am God. I love that. That's my favorite scripture. Be still and know that I am God. Psalm 4610. Amen. Amen, Erica. Praise God. Praise God. Okay. We, we, it's time for us to close, but hey, you guys, see, I'm so glad we had to take the time. I'm so glad we took the time to share this with each other, to let us understand all the ways we, we, we each use the word of God, especially, I'm so glad to hear the, the testimonies of healing because we don't hear the healing. We do not hear the healing in the news. We only hear death and hospitalization and infections. But people are being healed, y'all. And now we heard it. We heard about five testimonies. Justine, Justine's uh, New York, her entire family got healed. And we heard, we heard of Liz. We heard several testimonies of people healed from this, from this, from this virus. So we, so we now know, we now know that you don't have to die. You don't, you don't automatically die from this. You can survive. And that's why I'm so glad Brother David was able to hear all these testimonies of healing. Because it's so important. Once you know healing is possible, once you know healing is possible, you now know what to hold on to. Don't hold on to death. Don't hold on to fear. Don't hold on to worry. Hold on to the fact that God is healing people. God is healing. That's what you hold on to. God is still in the healing business. And you keep praying. You keep praising. You keep holding on to God's word. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. 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 Justine Canada. Justine P. You repent and proxy to your people and know th and throw ourselves on the mercy seat through the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. That's exactly right. Plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus over your family, over the leaders, over the country. Plead the blood of Jesus over everybody. <laughs> that that's why we that's why we fast and pray, especially right now, because we're interceding for all those who are sick, all those in rebellion. All those who are not trying to do anything, we plead the blood of Jesus to protect everyone and bring revelation to those walking in, 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 in denial and rebellion and, and just refusing to obey what's going on right now. So that's what that's why we fast and pray about that. Okay. A dusky, my mother, my mom had it on a dialysis. She she had it on dialysis, high blood pressure, sugar diabetes, heart. We fast and pray and and prayed she made it so she had covid while on dialysis and you guys prayed and she made it through she now that's god you get covid 19 while on dialysis and you made it but god see see that's what we need to hear this is what we need to hear god is still healing amen that that's the period God is in the healing business. Don't look too much at the world. We say it every, we say it every day. Don't look too much at the world because we know God is healing. God is providing. God is delivering. God is moving. See, if you don't if you don't take the time to share like we're doing right now and know that God is still healing and breakthrough and is still uh, uh, <laughs> that He's still just mighty. We gotta remember. Don't look at the world. Stop. 
focusing on the world and focus on Almighty God who can do whatever. Is there anything too hard for God? Do not be conformed. Do not be conformed. Do not be conformed to the things of this world. Romans 12, 2. Do not be conformed to the things of this world. COVID-19, things of this world, panic, things of this world, racism, things of this world. Do not be conformed to the things in this world, but a peace peace beyond understanding peace be anxious for nothing be anxious for nothing philippians 4 6 and 7 be anxious for nothing philippians 4 6 and 7 be anxious for nothing and let your request be made known to god and the peace the peace of god the peace of god will guard your heart in your mind, but you got to be anxious for nothing. You got to be anxious for nothing. You got to be anxious for nothing. So you can bring the peace of God will guard your heart and mind. And that's where I'll leave you. That's where I'll leave you today. Be anxious for nothing. Let your request be made known to God and the peace of God will guard your heart and your mind. And now you're not worried. No fear, because the peace of God removes fear, removes stress, removes anxiety, removes, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo, yes, Lord. The peace of God, that's what it's all about. It's all about the peace of God, to let the peace of God come on in. Come on in, peace of God. Come on in. Let the peace of God come right in. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Sharing the peace of God. Amen. Glory to God, we say thank you right now, Lord. Father God, we thank you right now. We thank you right now, Father God, for all these testimonies, Lord. We thank you right now as we get ready to close, Lord. We thank you right now for touching this fellowship, for empowering the fellowship. For giving us the strength to understand, Lord, you are still in the healing business. You are still moving mightily. You are still working right now, Lord, in everybody's life. You are still taking care of us in all kinds of ways that we don't even know about, Lord. As we get ready to close, Lord, we just thank you right now for continuous blessings and provision and guidance and supernatural healing taking place with anyone in this fellowship live or archive, on the screen or off the screen, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to share each other's testimonies of healing, not just death, but testimonies of healing and hope to let us understand, Lord, that you're still in the healing business. You're still blessing. You're still providing. You're still guiding. You're still doing whatever it is we need. You are whatever it is we need. You are. We just say thank you right now, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for being the awesome wonder that you are. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Before we close, as always, before we close, I always know someone is watching. Someone's watching at some point who doesn't understand anything we've been talking about. They don't understand the praise, the worship, even the fellowship, even the testimonies. So right now, before we close, I'm going to prayer salvation and the closing prayers. As always, please, no typing, doing the closing prayers and the prayer of salvation out of respect of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Right now, I'm talking to someone listening. Someone's listening right now who doesn't understand why we praise, why we worship, doesn't understand the fellowship. You've been listening the whole time. You've been listening, but you've been crying for two and a half hours because your life is falling apart. Fear, stress, worry, darkness is all over your life. Families turned away from you. Friends stabbed you in the back. And you may even feel suicidal right now. And you have no idea, no idea how you got on this channel. And that's because God brought you here. Because God sees the pain and suffering you go through right now. 
That's why you're here. You may be here as a backslider in guilt. For whatever reason, you chose to leave God and go back into a world of sin. And then all of a sudden, your life is falling apart. Why? Because you're living in back to the devil's world. You saved, but you went back into the devil's world. And now your, your life is falling apart. And the devil's lying to you, telling you, once you leave God, you can never go back. And that is a lie for the pit of hell. No one is perfect. All have fallen short. So if you've been walking as a backslider and you want to come back to the Lord, just rededicate, recommit, and say this, the prayer of salvation over again. And there's nothing the devil can do to stop you. So whether you're walking in, dark, whether you're walking in darkness, in depression, or you're walking as a backslider, you want to come back and rededicate to the Lord. I want you to pray with me right now. Pray with me right now. Father God, forgive me for the wrong I've done and the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I believe he died on the cross for me and my sins and was raised from the dead. I want Jesus to be Lord and Savior of my life. And I commit right now, I will not do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life without lifting up to you first. Create in me, O oh Lord, a clean heart and remove from me anything and everything that is not like you. In Jesus' name. If you said that prayer sincerely, your spirit is now right to receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us to teach us, to guide us, and to also convict us when you're not walking in God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you people, activities, and things you're doing right now in your life, which is bringing darkness in your life. And then he'll tell you what you need to do to reverse it. First of all, spend time with God every day. Feed your spirit, starve your flesh. Feed your faith, starve your doubt every day. If you want peace of mind, spend time with God every day. And then you understand the peace of God is God telling you, it's going to be all right. God's got this. God's got you. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spirit of retribution, revenge, retaliation, backlash, every other demonic spirit, name the unnamed, seen the unseen, who may try to attack anyone in this fellowship because of their participation in this fellowship. We cast all you demonic spirits out of our mind, out of our spirit, out of our home, out of our kids, out of our marriages, back to the pit of hell from which you all came in Jesus' name. And Father God, loose, Lord, loose into the fellowship, loose unspeakable joy, loose peace beyond understanding, loose restoration, Lord, restore, restore every area of our life. Loose reconciliation, Lord, Bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now who are struggling to survive because of the devil's attack, Lord. And Lord, please keep your hands of protection over all the families and marriages who are not falling apart, but who the devil still attacks every day, Lord. Loose supernatural healing, physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional healing by your stripes. We are healed. And we speak it every day, Lord. We confess it every day. I believe I received my healing in the name of Jesus. I believe I received my healing in the name of Jesus. Every day, confess it, see it, live it, breathe it. Pray as if your life depends on it. P-U-S-H. Pray until something happens. Loose, Lord. Loose supernatural overflow. Financial breakthrough. Supernatural debt cancellation. Lord, let your blessings, Lord, let your blessings of abundance rain down, Lord. Rain down on the fellowship's every financial need right now. For you shall supply all our need according to your riches in glory. For Christ Jesus, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want for anything when the Lord is my shepherd. For we are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. We're the lender and not the borrower. We're blessed going in and blessed going out. We're blessed that we may be a blessing to others. 
we are out of debt. All of our needs are met. We have plenty more to put in store. We are children of God. And nothing shall our enemies hurt us or block our blessings in any way. And finally, Lord, we thank you for our miracle, Lord. Each fellowship member has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know, Lord, every day we visualize it, see it, believe it, receive your heart. And once you receive your heart, expect your miracle. Expect it every day. We don't know when. We'll never know the exact when. But because we don't know when, that means any day you wake up could be the day of the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now. May the Lord bless you and keep your family. May the Lord make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace that you may be a blessing to every you touch or speak to, a blessing to every you pray over, a blessing to every you pass by and bless when I open your mouth because the love and light of the Lord is all over you 24-7, 365, including Nepier. So, Father God, all these things we ask, Lord, all these things we ask. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let the fellowship say amen, amen, amen.